Hey, hey, what's up, everybody? This is your boy, Boo Boy Kennels. And yes, today we got a little video here for you of the Division 2. Just out here doing some of the bounties. Anyways, what I what I wanted to get into for a little bit is actually two things. Uh, one is the Division itself. The other is OBS Studio. Yes, OBS Studio. Why do I bring this up? Well, me particularly myself, I prefer to use OBS Studio. So with, uh, you know, doing my uh, shadow play recordings, you know, that's uh, not shadow play recordings. Uh, doing my uh, streaming, that, you know, I end up using the uh, OBS Studio. Problem is with version 25 and even 25.0.1, for some reason, don't know why it'll it'll play the audio but not show the video now i know that has to do with a compatibility uh anti-cheat hook thing that they do but the funny thing is in version 24 it was working perfectly fine so the only thing different was going from version 24 to version 25. so what i ended up doing was use um, Streamlabs OBS because that has no issue with uh, you know st streaming uh, Division 2 which kind of sucks because now I'm using Streamlabs OBS to stream the Division but then I'm going back to OBS Studio to basically stream everything else and you know that gets to, gets to be a bit annoying yes I can go back to version 24 and then not have that issue, you know, but I want some of those nice little new features that version 25 has. So I'm going to have to compromise a little bit with that. Uh, the other thing as well is uh, with the um, the latest uh, DLC update that the Division 2 has, it definitely brought a lot more life back into the game. Has a lot of players coming back, old players, new players. Um, I know I've definitely seen a lot of new players. And, you know, the reason I can tell is because of how they play the game, you know, what they be doing. So you can, you can immediately tell, okay, you're, you're a new player, you know, for the most part. But the good thing is, you know, it has brought a lot of players back into the game. Now, me personally, myself, I've, you know, I've, I've always enjoyed the Division 2. I didn't care for the first one, even though the games are pretty much... Pretty much almost identical. I mean, there's some differences, but they're pretty much still very identical games. And it's actually kind of funny because I say this a lot during my streams. My my buddy, I ain't gonna say Work Birdie's name, right, Work Birdie? I ain't gonna say your name. But he was actually the one that got me, uh, you know, into the game itself. He was like, "Oh yeah, you know, get a division, blah blah blah. You will like it, you will enjoy it." Now this was Division One. No, I played it. I don't even think I ever got to level 30. You know, I just I just didn't get into it for some reason. Don't know why that was. You know, but then the Division 2 came out, and he was like, oh, yeah, it's going to be so much better. This, this, and that. It's all right. You know, I go ahead and spend that 100 bucks, get a Division 2. Yeah, because I want all the, uh, the extras that came with it, whatever. And then he never plays the game. So, you know, here I am, hundreds of hours later, still playing the Division 2, and he don't play, which is uh, kind of weird. But the funny thing is, I actually enjoy the Division 2. I mean, like, I, I really enjoy it. I mean, it'd be better, you know, to play with people, but I actually tend to play the game solo, say, most of the time. Unless I'm just helping people, then at that point, eh, it really doesn't matter. But, you know, that's just how it is. And that's just how it's going to be. But other than that, you know, if you like the game, definitely pick the game up. It's a lot of fun. I think you'll uh, you know, definitely enjoy it. You know, if you're into uh, looter shooters, it's a fun game to have. It's, it sucks when you don't know a lot of stuff because... Like I said, I mostly play this game solo, so there's still a lot of things I haven't done in the game. I haven't learned. 
So, you know, I still have a lot to go with it. Even though I spent countless hours playing this game solo. Now, if you get into a group, you know, do the raids. You know, that's definitely fun. Or you can just, you know, do like I do sometimes and just jump into other people's worlds, help them out. You know, and at the same time, it helps you. Because I'm right now, I'm currently working on my other classes, trying to get them uh, specced up. Because I, the only class I ever used was a sniper class. So for, I don't know, 300 plus hours or something like that. I pretty much just used a sniper, sniper class. Never used any other class. So now I'm just starting to work on those so I can build them up. But, you know, you can definitely uh, get points for that if you help other people just, uh, you know, do bounties, do world stuff. Um, I noticed mostly with, at least for me, doing the bounties, it helped me out a lot. So it might help you out as well. You never know. But other than that, you know, I hope you enjoyed the gameplay. You know, this is uh, being recorded in uh, 1440p. Yes, 1440p. And I just recently have finished uh, completely upgrading my uh, my system. So hopefully I won't have to do that for a while. I do still have a few other things I need to take care of. But in the meantime... Game looks beautiful in 1440p. It's completely maxed out, which is just how I like to play pretty much all my games. I will say that um, I was using my old graphic card, so at 1080p, it wasn't a problem. At 1440p, it was a big problem. But I'll get into that topic another time. Other than that, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the thumbs up thumbs down favorite like subscribe hit that notification button so you can stay up to date on all of our latest videos and as always it's been your boy boo boy kennels keep them scratching peace we up out this bitch baby yeah target is near you agent safe area entered